You sure know your boxing? Well, all I know is never bet on the white guy. After conclusively beating Anthony Joshua, I was going to say battering, but yeah, actually, after beating and battering Anthony Joshua, the newly crowned IBF heavyweight champion of the world. Now, I know he was champion guy in him, but the newly validated heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel Dubois, took a little break, apparently. I think he went to Brazil or something. And then he came back and he's been giving some quotes here and there. And he's essentially saying he's open for business. He's not looking to take any steps back. And he wants big fights moving forward. Like anyone could get it, bring it on kind of thing. And I have to be honest with you guys, right, in the interview I saw, now I saw the Box Nation interview at the airport. I think he'd just landed from his flight back from Brazil and Umar had caught him. And to be honest with you guys, it almost looked like Daniel Dubois was in Brazil getting three weeks of media training or something or confidence training or I don't even know what because he looked like a different person. Like The way he was speaking, he was definitely more confident, more grounded, had a lot more to say as opposed to the guy on fight week who looked like a deer in headlights at the time when they were asking him questions. So for me, it's night and day between this confident and validated Daniel Dubois as opposed to the pre anthony Joshua fight, Daniel Dubois. Like the confidence levels are sky high. You can see it in his eyes. You can hear it in his voice. And he definitely believes a lot more. Like he, when he says he's ready to take on the entire division, anyone can get it. I believe him. I mean, he's already been in the likes of Alexander Usyk, Philip Hergovic and Anthony Joshua. Like when he says anyone can get it, I believe him. He's ready to go. It's music to my ears. And I think he's saying that if Anthony Joshua wants the rematch, he's first in line sort of thing. But he did say that he believes Anthony Joshua has got some demons to overcome or demons to face. I can't remember the exact quote, but he basically acknowledges that AJ rematching him and beating him isn't going to be an easy task. I think that's what he's saying anyway. And that's kind of where I want to start the main topic of this video. So Daniel Dubois saying he'll fight anyone aside. Next question is, the main question is, will Anthony Joshua be taking this rematch? Now, prior to the fight, I was saying if Anthony Joshua loses, he should probably call it a day. If you can't beat Daniel Dubois, your days at the top table are kind of over. But I've also maintained that while Turkey al Sheikh is paying the bills, ain't nobody going to retire. That's, for me, a fact. I mean, has anyone retired in the last two years that you guys can think of? Like anyone top tier, Saudi, Riyadh season worthy? I don't think so, and there's a reason for that, and that's because the purses are too high. So Anthony Joshua won't be retiring. He wants to be a three-time heavyweight champion of the world. I mean, to the point where he was basically asking people to pray for him when he was going into the fight. That's how much it meant to him. And he weren't able to do it. He went in there, he got battered, his arse was handed to him. It wasn't a good look, it wasn't a good night's work. I mean, he got paid or whatever, but emotionally, mentally, and physically, that was like a beating of a lifetime. So while he does have the rematch there, it's on the table. If he wants it, he can take it. I mean, I'm guessing the person that still need to be discussed or whatever. But long story short, if Anthony Joshua wants the fight, insists on the fight, I'm pretty certain they can get it made for him. Daniel Dubois is open to that idea. Now, here comes the thing. Like, will Anthony Joshua take the rematch? I don't really know what the right answer is. Like, thinking about it logically, like, he wants to become a world champion. There's a free shot at a world title. You're going to get well compensated. Surely that would be the right way to go. But then... Thinking about it logically also, I don't think Anthony Joshua can beat Daniel Dubois no matter what he does. I mean, maybe he can outbox him. We've seen that if you know how to box and you're very good defensively, Daniel Dubois can struggle with you. I mean, Alexander Usyk did beat him and Daniel Dubois couldn't stop Kevin Johnson because Kevin Johnson knew how to handle himself in the ring. I mean, those are only two examples. I haven't got a big pool of examples to give you guys, but Daniel Dubois is beatable. Anthony Joshua may believe he can beat him if he boxes him like he done Andy Ruiz or whatever, but I don't know, you know. I think that Daniel Dubois is just one of them guys that might have Anthony Joshua's number, a bit like Alexander Usyk. Normally, you come across like one guy in your career like that. I think AJ might have two. And where I think it probably is the right move to go for the rematch, because listen, if you want to be world champion, beat a world champion. Daniel Dubois is there in front of you, the belt's there, go take it off him. While I believe that's the right move, I don't believe that Anthony Joshua will be taking the rematch personally. I think he might want to, but the business people around him will maybe convince him it's better to do other things to make more money. They can always get him a world title shot down the line kind of thing. That's what I think will happen. But then that leads to the question like, who next for Daniel Dubois then? Now, it's no secret that I think February is the penciled in date for Daniel Dubois' return. There's a big potential Saudi heavyweight card in February. And if Anthony Joshua was taking it, I'm pretty certain it would be Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois. Now that I don't believe AJ will take it, I suspect that Daniel Dubois will headline that card fighting someone else. And I have no idea who that person may be. I know who I'd want it to be. I've only got really two fighters that I would prefer Daniel Dubois to fight if he's not fighting a world champion for a unification or whatever. One of them is Joe Joyce. I think there's unfinished business there. Daniel Dubois 
lost to Joe Joyce. He wants to fight him. Easy fight to make. We've seen it once. There's a bit of a narrative there. I think they can sell it. It won't be a massive fight, but people might be able to get behind that one. And they can always bolster the undercard to make it a big card anyway. And if it's not Joe Joyce, the other person I'd like it to be is Deontay Wilder. Now, two reasons for me making this call here. Firstly, I think that only a big fight will get Deontay Wilder back into the ring again. And a heavyweight title fight may be that little carrot there to tempt him back into the ring. Because he's not going to go for a rebuild process. He's got a bit of name value there. That might be enough to do like Wilder versus Dubois. Give him a world title shot. And the reason why I want to see that potential fight is if Wilder insists on not retiring and not enjoying the rest of his life you know with all the money he's made or whatever and he still wants to fight he still wants world title shots well then i want them to feed him to daniel dubois so daniel dubois can convince him to retire let's just put it that way because in the daniel dubois versus deontay wilder fight daniel dubois likely takes deontay wilder's head off laters